this is Peyton Heidi with Off Leash Canine Training of Hampton Roads. I'm here for Ask a Trainer Thursday. Um, this is our first round of this, so I'm super excited. You guys asked some amazing questions last week. So question number one, Ben has a puppy coming in October and they want to be involved with our training program, which is awesome. Um, but his daughters and wife don't want the puppy to be away for two weeks. Ben is pretty adamant that they're sending the puppy off for two weeks. So we're trying to solve a debate. I would just say if you guys have the time to put in with the eight sessions, you have at least an hour a day to work with the puppy, reinforce, bring them out in public, um, all that good stuff. Do the lessons. If you're going to miss the dog a lot, do that. Um, but we send report cards, feeding notes, hoop notes, med notes, um, pictures, videos during the two-week board and train. Um, you would get an update every single day. So if you feel like you can just bear with it, send the dog. They'll be trained, guaranteed for life. Miss Candace asked, how do you get a dog who is not crated at night to wake you up if he has to go outside rather than after the fact? Um, crate the dog at night. They're probably gonna bark, some kind of sign, because dogs don't like laying down in their pee or their poop. Um, so it's a really good way for them to alert you because dogs naturally don't wanna do that. So I'd say create your pup at night and they will start learning how to alert you. Um, Donna wants to know, how do you keep a dog at ease while crated when you are not at home? Um, I would just say Google is a really great resource for learning about separation anxiety exercises, um, but one that I personally like to do with my dogs when they were puppies, um, I would put them in a down and I would start off um, hanging out in the room with them and I would slowly build up five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Um, once they did well with me in the room, I would take a step out of the room, come back to them, let them know I always come back for you. Um, so that's just one example of an exercise you can do, but lots of mental stimulation and showing the dog that you always come back for them um, is really, really good for helping alleviate those behaviors. Um, Kin would like to know, so they have a German Shepherd, 15 months, who loves to nip at their feet, hands. It's a hurting behavior. The dog wants you guys to do something. Is there any way to stop this or will it just always happen? Um, training alleviates that for sure. Um, if the dog is nipping at you, they're trying to kind of control you, they think they're at the top of the totem pole, you're at the bottom. If they nip at you, you can correct them with an off correction. Have them lay down on their bed or, hey, you're going to go lay down in your crate for a little bit. Um, so I would suggest um, some kind of mental stimulation training for that type of situation. Jennifer, you asked a great question. So you have your dogs sleep in the room with you. Two dogs, one being your chihuahua, are usually in the bed. The third dog sleeps on the floor. Anytime one of the other dogs moves in the middle of the night, the chihuahua growls and barks, waking everyone up. Super frustrating. How can I teach the dog not to do this? Um, I would say start off probably by not having the dog sleep in the room or kind of recreate the situation, not at night when everybody's sleeping. Um, let the dogs hang out in the living room, nap, and then um, start moving around with one of your dogs. And your chihuahua is probably going to do the same exact behavior, even though it's a different time of day. Um, definitely training so you can correct that behavior. If you have an e-collar or anything like that, you can give a quick correction. Hey, nope, shut it down. We don't do that. Go back to laying down and napping. Emily has a question. We were told to keep Charlie's leash pretty tight, no more than two fingers. We took her into the vet and the vet said her collar was way too tight. We should be able to fit three fingers all around the collar. What should we do? Um, so we go by a tight two fingers. That's what we tell all of our clients. You should be able to really snugly get your two fingers under the metal hardware on the e-collar. Um, so tight two fingers, as long as you can snugly fit two fingers under there, you're perfect. Carrie asked how to properly train leash reactivity. We've been walking at 10 p.m. to avoid other dogs. Barking's embarrassing. We've got two male litter mates, 17 months old, which makes training difficult. Although this is our only issue, just one of our pups is reactive on leash. Um, so litter mates in itself is kind of tough. Um, if you get two dogs from the same litter, litter mate syndrome um, is definitely a real thing. So it makes training a little more difficult. Totally understand where you're coming from. 
Um, I would say we see a lot of litter mates. Um, E-collar training is super, super awesome for nipping that behavior in the bud. Um, so just shoot us a message. We would kind of love to hear some more details about what's going on so we could recommend a program for you, figure out how to help you best. Um, Sydney said Mr. Rex was fine when he, we got him home. He didn't whine or pull to other dogs while on leash, but now on walks he immediately barks and whines at other dogs. Happy about that because he did not want anything to do with dogs um, or his kind uh, prior to training. We've also had him off leash in our yard and he'll dart after other dogs down the street. He'll ignore his corrections and come commands. Give us a call. We'd love to set up a refresher. Um, Rex was awesome. I remember him. Um, we would definitely love to just set up a refresher, one-on-one, -on -one, hour long. Just shoot us a message, give us a call, and we will be happy to get that set up for you. Thank you guys so much for your comments. Loved reading through them. Um, be sure every week we're going to be doing this, so post in the comments below any questions you guys may have. Uh, we'd be happy to answer them, help you guys out any way we can.